The new CEO of a company is determined to rid the company of slackers. During a tour of the facilities, he notices a guy leaning against a wall doing nothing. The CEO approaches the guy and asks him, What do you think you're doing? The man replies, Nothing, just killing time, waiting to get paid. The CEO is furious. How much do you earn? The man shrugs his shoulders. About 200 a week, I guess? The CEO pulls out his wallet, hands the man $400 and says, There's your two weeks, now get out of here. After the man leaves, the CEO turns to his employees and asks, Does anyone want to tell me what that slacker did here? One of the employees replies, Oh, he was just... delivering our pizza. <laughs> a man is tired of being bossed around by his wife, so he goes to see a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist tells him he needs to build his self-esteem and gives him a book on assertiveness. He finishes the book before going back home. The man storms into the house and walks right up to his wife. Pointing a finger in her face, he says, From now on, I want you to know that I'm the man of the house and my word is law. I want you to prepare me a gourmet meal tonight and when I'm finished eating my meal, I expect a scrumptious dessert afterward. Then, after dinner, you're going to draw me a bath so I can relax. And when I'm finished with my bath, guess who's going to dress me and comb my hair? His wife replies, The funeral director? <laughs> a Polish man marries an American girl, and though his English isn't very good, they get along very well. One day, he rushes into a lawyer's office and asks him to arrange a divorce for him. The lawyer says that getting a divorce would depend on the circumstances and asks him the following questions. Have you any grounds? Yes, an acre and half and nice little home. No, I mean, what is the foundation of this case? It made of concrete. I don't think you understand. Does either of you have a real grudge? No, we have carport and not need one. I mean, what are your relations like? All my relations still in Poland. Is there any infidelity in your marriage? We have high fidelity stereo and good DVD player. Does your wife beat you up? No, I always up before her. Why do you want this divorce? She going to kill me. What makes you think that? I got proof. What kind of proof? She going to poison me. She buy a bottle at drugstore and put on shelf in bathroom. I can read English pretty good and it say... Polish Remover. <laughs> After working most of her life, Granny finally retires. At her next checkup, the new doctor asks her to bring a list of all the medications that have been prescribed for her. As the young doctor is looking through these, his eyes grow wide as he realizes she has a prescription for birth control pills. Mrs. Smith, do you realize these are birth control pills? Yes, she replies. They help me sleep at night. The doctor asserts, Mrs. Smith, I assure you there is absolutely nothing in these pills that could possibly help you sleep. She reaches out and pats the young doctor's knee. No, dear, you are wrong. Every morning I grind one up and mix it in a glass of orange juice. Then I give it to my 16-year-old granddaughter. <laughs> One sunny day in Ireland, Patty is sitting in a pub, drinking some Guinness. While looking around the pub, he thinks, Wow, that man over there looks just like me. I think I'm gonna go over there and talk to him. So he walks over to the man and taps him on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir, he begins. But I noticed you look just like me. The man turns around and says, Yeah, I noticed the same thing. Where are you from? I'm from Dublin, Patty replies. Me too, says the man. What street do you live on? McCarthy Street, replies Patty. Me too. What number is it? The man asks. 162, Patty replies. Me too. 
What are your parents' names? asks the man. Corner and Shannon, answers Patty. The man, almost dumbfounded, says, Mine too! This is unbelievable! So they buy some more Guinness and continue talking some more. When the bartenders change shifts, the new bartender asks the other bartender, So what's new today? Oh, nothing much, the other bartender replies. The Murphy twins are drunk again as usual. <laughs> One day, the emperor decides that he wants to find the best samurai in the world. So he sends his men out to find some contenders. They come back with three men. A Japanese samurai, a Chinese samurai, and a Jewish samurai. The next day, the emperor holds tryouts to see who is the best. First, he brings in the Japanese samurai. As the Japanese samurai strides into the great hall and approaches him, the emperor pulls out a box, opens it, and from it flies out a single fruit fly. Without hesitation, the Japanese samurai whips out his sword, shouts his battle cry, and cuts the fly into two perfect halves. Impressed, the emperor sends this samurai off. Next, the emperor brings in the Chinese samurai. Again, as the samurai approaches, he opens the fly box. The Chinese samurai swings his sword, and two perfect halves fall to the ground. The emperor, impressed, sends this samurai away. Finally, it's time for the Jewish samurai. As the samurai approaches, the emperor sets the fly free. Without hesitation, the Jewish samurai swings his sword, but instead of the fly falling to the ground, it lets out a loud eep and flies away. The emperor bursts into laughter and asks, you can't even kill a fly! Why should I hire you? The Jewish samurai looks at him calmly and replies, You should try circumcising something that small. <laughs> By the time John pulls into the little town, every motel room is taken. You've got to have a room somewhere, he pleads to the last motel manager. Or just a bed? I don't really care where, I'm completely exhausted. Well, I do have a double room with one occupant, admits the manager. And I'm sure he'd be glad to split the cost. But to tell you the truth, he snores so loudly that people in adjoining rooms have complained all week. I'm not sure it'd be worth it to you. No problem, the tired traveler assures him. I'll take it. The next morning, John comes down to breakfast, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. The manager asks him how he survived. Never better, replies John. The manager was impressed. No problem with the other guy snoring then? Nope, I shut him up in no time, John answers. How'd you manage that? asks the manager. It was easy, says John. He was already in bed, snoring away when I came into the room. I went over gave him a peck on the cheek and said, Good night, beautiful. He sat up all night watching me.